Well, hello. Welcome to this pre-course briefing on separation processes one. My name is Martin Trussler. I'm professor in chemical engineering, and I'm going to be the instructor for this course. When you're on campus, you can find me in the ASEX building in room 318, and you're welcome to stop by. I welcome uh, questions uh, or interaction on the course. And if you want to get in touch with me by email, you have my email address there on the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to keep this really brief. It's a welcome and introduction. So indeed, welcome. And uh, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about what the course is about. Uh, I think first of all, I'd say it's core chemical engineering, and it's about the processes that are used to separate different components uh, as a part of an overall uh, chemical process. And we will look in some detail at four specific processes and their distillation. I guess you're familiar with distillation. Uh, we'll restrict this to uh, mixtures of just two substances, and it will be continuous distillation. Uh, two other related processes are absorption and stripping. Uh, absorption is where you have an impurity in a gas and you absorb it into a liquid. Stripping is the reverse, where you have an impurity in a liquid and you want to extract it or strip it out using a, a gas. And then finally, we'll look at liquid-liquid uh, extraction or solvent extraction, which is a process you may be familiar with. The objectives of the course are really three. Um, the first is to be able to describe and model the processes I just listed. Uh, model means essentially that you can carry out uh, quantitative design calculations to, for example, design a distillation process that would work. We need you to be able to distinguish between staged and packed columns. So that's uh, something you'll uh, come to learn about in the course itself and to do some basic economic analyses. So those are really the three things that you need to be able to do by the end. Where does it sit? Well, as I said, it's a first year course. It's taught actually in the second term, the spring term. And it draws on material that you will study in the first term process analysis course, which is mainly around energy and material balances, which are absolutely fundamental to the separations. It will also draw a little bit on the thermodynamics uh, course, which is also a first year course. And in year two, you'll do separation processes too. So that's that's the connection between the courses. In terms of the structure, we'll have 25 timetabled uh, uh, slots. Uh, they're an hour, but uh, normally the class lasts 50 minutes. I will do all of these live uh, either on Microsoft Teams or if conditions allow in person in the lecture theatre. And um, I'll use the 25 divided between lectures, around 15 lectures and 10 problem or example classes. And I would like you all as students to, you know, to log in, even if it's remote, to log in and take part uh, live in the class, and I, I really welcome questions. They're very important. Uh, you can use the chat function to to ask questions, and we have an anonymous uh, question stream as well. So if you're a bit shy about identifying yourself, you don't have to. And uh, particularly, as I say, when we're doing the problems and examples, it's very important for me to get your feedback so that I actually address the questions that that matter to to individual students. In addition, there's a set of problems that you can do in your in your own time for private study, which will help you reinforce uh, your learning and you can get some uh, feedback on, on on those uh, problems towards the end of the course. And then finally, the assessment is very straightforward. It's a short one and a half hour exam held in the summer term. So that's a brief introduction to the separation processes course. Thank you very much for viewing. And, and once again, I'm Martin Trussler, and if you want to get in touch with me, You've got my coordinates there uh, on the screen. Thank you.